John, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your film and uh, what what it feels like to be here at Hot Dogs, actually? Uh, well, Hot Dogs, I've been at every Hot Dog since uh, the beginning. I was the uh, founder of the Canadian uh, Documentary Organization of Canada, so, so we uh, gave birth to this festival. And uh, so I've, I've been here every year, and it's, it's great. It's a great lineup this year, so I'm really excited about it. Tell us a little bit about your film. So I film is uh, it's Quebec, my country, Mon Pays, and uh, it it deals with a very personal film. Uh, the five hundred thousand English speaking Quebecers that have left Quebec during this period of the Quiet Revolution, the separatist movement, uh, the FLQ crisis, and so on. And uh, so it's a film that's that's looking at you know, Quebec, that particular period of history, through a, a very personal story. English speaking Quebecers, you know. My family has lived in Quebec for 250 years, so we have a particular point of view around, uh, around that, that history and its impact on, on our community. Why do you feel that um, now is a good time to uh, uh, bring this um, story up? Yeah, I mean, the story hasn't really been told about, about the, you know, there's a diaspora of 500, uh, half a million of us out in Canada. Um, I thought th the timing was right because I think there's an openness in, in Quebec. I think it's the two solitudes, as humans long defined, as still exist. But, but I think there's in the in the younger generation. I think they're, they're getting beyond uh, beyond the crisis that happened, and there's a more openness. We've influenced each other. The French and English have had an impact. When I first came to Toronto, you know, I missed hearing French in the streets. I felt like I was in a foreign country, and I was, you know, very much influenced by this creative movement in Quebec, the cinema, Quebec cinema, and uh, so it's, it's it's kind of a love letter to Quebec too that. Hey, we understand Quebec. The, the, the Anglophones that grew up in Quebec understand the situation in Quebec, but there's still this this tension and distance that, that I want to do. Uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, support you received uh, uh, for this film. Yeah, so I pitched it to the Documentary Channel, and Bruce Cowley, who is also a Quebecer, understood the story. He's an English speaking Quebecer, so uh, he got it very very well and uh, quickly. And so uh, so it was. Uh, Funded to him and with Rogers, fund came in, and uh, so we had a lot of, a lot of support. For it. So, what should one expect uh, when they come see your uh, documentary here at uh, Hot Dogs, and what, what well, you tell our yeah. viewers? Well, I think I'm 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 trying to deal with myths. There's a lot of myths about the French and myths about the English in Quebec. So I'm I'm poking holes in, in all these myths, and and you're going to see a story that you really haven't been aware of before from a different point of view. Uh, you know, People are not aware of that there was terrorism and bombs going off in Quebec, and uh, you know we, we, we dealt with terrorism for you know ten years, and it was uh, on our community, and so so it's dealing with all of those issues and uh, language, culture, importance of these things, and it's a it's a very it's a Canadian story that most Canadians do really don't know the details. So it's an insider story, as I say, our family's been in Quebec for 250 years. We have great sympathy. We've never had any anti-French feelings in our in our family, and so it's a it's a love letter in that sense, you know, and it, I think it's time to bring these two solitudes together and, and start building some bridges between these two, two communities. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time.